So it's an early morning here at Matt's shop. As you can see, it's uh, just light. I've got the hood open, starting to uh, let her cool off a bit. And uh, we'll be uh, doing it here in this bay. And taking the, the radiator out. Radiator's already been uh, drained of uh, fluid. McDonald's coffee in tow. Motor is pretty much free. Put it up on the lift so we can get the uh, transmission unhooked. All right, now we're taking the uh, the starter out. And when I say we, I mean Matt. Getting close, and it's about 9:30, and uh, the engine is ready to be pulled. We're trying to get everything moved around in the shop so that we can uh, get the forklift over here and uh, get the engine out. And we've already used the forklift to try to get the uh, the new engine out and uh, over here to this this point which uh, as you can see we got the wrapping on it to keep all the stuff out of uh, all the debris out of it so uh, next step pull the engine out and uh, put this one in 930 doing good oh and here's the uh, engine lift that we're going to be using also known as fork lift yes we're jamming I think that's a new torque converter. And here we are getting the uh, some of the final pre-assembly done. And again, when I say we, I mean Matt. It's a good show though. It's so sad. No engine. But that'll change here shortly. So it's uh, 11 a.m. and the engine's out and on the floor, gently. So it's 12.30, all the parts are uh, put on and uh, getting ready to lift it up and not drop it on my Jeep. And the engine's in. Like I just told Matt, the straps could break and it, would, uh, it wouldn't go anywhere but where it's supposed to be. So I'm feeling better. 
so here we are, 4.30-ish, 2.30-ish, rather. Is it 4.30? It's 2.30, 2.30. And uh, everything hooked up. We've got a, uh, a short vacuum line we got to get hooked up. Uh, oil's in it. It's actually probably where we could start it, but uh, don't have a radiator on it, or I won't take it a minute. So, a little bit more. Sounds smoother. Sounds smoother.